Welcome, I am the Moonshin King of the Century. I have a request today by Brian Coffee. Not the coffee that you drink, but the coffee that you sneeze. Into oblivion, and the oracle smiles at the onion. So, a week ago he told me, now, I've been mulling over another selection for your perusal, whatever that means. If it doesn't impose on your time, it does, it does for sure. Of course, keeping with the diversity of suggestions tossed at me like pancakes lately, would you please consider a reaction to One Piece at a Time by Johnny Cash? I'd love to see how the Munchin deals with the legendary Man in Black. Thanks in advance and best wishes from me. The coffee that you sneeze. Not the coffee that you drink. I told you. I told you for sure. Sixteen hours ago, he greeted me on my Tala Swift. Was it that long ago? How time flies to me. But anyway. Oh, what did he say? Great to see you back for sure, and look forward to your future offerings. Including, of course, the Johnny Cash one I requested. It might appeal to a more light-hearted Munchin. Ah, uh, he said it was more interest. It was interesting to see a more subdued, philosophical Munchin. I do reach different planes of spirituality from time to time, not often, but. Occasionally I hop like a bunny or a kangaroo you choose to you. Or Tigger, indeed. And then twelve hours ago, once again a greeting from the coffee that you that you sneeze, not the coffee that you drink. Um it is that uh, Ah Oh the Johnny Cash song is one piece at a time. I think it will appeal to the Moonshin King's funny bone, assuming he has one. Anyway, happy Thanksgiving to you! And look forward to seeing whatever you present next. Well, the thing I presented next was actually on my other channel, the Moonshin King. I did a dance cover of Thriller, so do check it out for you. Um, three comments! And not one told me specifically which type of video I, I discovered upon the YouTube search. The top search was an audio track with just a picture of some car. There also was a lyric video which I thought might be interesting. But it's not the norm on this channel if there is a music video or a live performance. So I did the live performance. I say I did it. I haven't watched it yet. Uh, Johnny Cash, one piece at a time, live. Don't know where, don't know when. It says it's a music video, so... This is the official live performance. Shall we get into it? Uh, not sure exactly what well. You've given me some clues. Light-hearted, funny bone. I will have to uh, prove you wrong, for sure. Ah! Let's go back to the beginning. Three, two, one, go. I mess up all the time, what can I say? Old school. And I didn't ever do this, but even back then I thought about it and we talked about it from time to time. Well, I left Kentucky back in 49 and went to Detroit working on assembly line. The first year they had me putting wheels on Cadillacs. Every day I'd watch them beauties roll by and sometimes I'd hang my head and cry. Always wanted me one that was long and black. One day I devised myself a plan that should be the envy of most any man. I'd sneak it out of there in a the lunchbox in my hand. I really like this introduction. It's unusual. I didn't expect this talking. Talking! It's a bit like a rap. But the old school style of rap. Um, I feel country vibes. Is he a country singer? I'm not too familiar. I might have heard one song by him, but I'm not certain. Hmm. I'm guessing he wears black a lot. 
Lindsay way. It, do, it does feel light-hearted and it does feel like the air smells different in, in this world that he is describing. Now getting caught meant getting fired, but I figured to have it all by the time I retired. Have me a car worth at least a hundred grand. I'd get it one piece at a time, and it wouldn't cost me a dime. You'll know it's me when I come through your town. Gonna ride around in style, gonna drive everybody wild. Cause I have the only one there is around. He did the transition seamlessly from the talking into more singing just there. It was really a smooth transition and that explains why the other video had a picture of a car. It seems to be the set piece, the centerpiece of this household. Well, the very next day when I checked in with my big lunchbox and help from my friends, I left that day with a lunchbox full of gear. I never considered myself a thief, but GM wouldn't miss just one little piece, especially if I strung it out over several years. Well, the first day I got me a fuel pump, the next day I got me an engine and a trunk, then I got me a transmission and all the chrome. The little things I could get in my big lunch box, like nuts and bolts and all four shocks, the big stuff I snuck out in my buddy's mobile home. Well, up to now, my plan went all right till we tried to put it all together one night, and that's when I noticed that something was definitely wrong. The transmission was a 53 and the motor turned out to be a 73. When we tried to put in the bolts, all the holes were gone. So we drilled it out so that it would fit and with a little bit of help from an adapter kit. Had that engine running just like a song. The headlights was another sight. We had two on the left and one on the right. So I'm getting a feeling right now he is obsessed with his car. His car is his lover! like a prince's car, little red corvette, but he has his car, which he takes much pleasure in, uh, in, um, in controlling, in creating, in adjusting, and in riding, of course. But when I pulled out the switch, all three of them come on. The back end looked kind of funny too, but we put it together and we got to noticed that we only had one tail fin. About that time, my wife walked out and I could see in her eyes that she had a doubt, but she opened the door and said, Honey, take me for a spin. So we went Don't down do it. to get the tags and I hit it right on down main track. You could hear everybody laughing for blocks around. But up there at the courthouse, they didn't laugh because to type it up, it took the whole staff. And when they got through, the title weighed 60 pounds. I got it one piece at a time, and it didn't cost me a dime. You'll know it's me when I come to your town. So, um, this is an interesting video with this, uh, I thought this video is going to be more of him. We will see more of him singing alive the performance but we're seeing a lot of footage this uh, of the car and them um, and him uh, playing with it and this woman why is there always a woman but uh, the wife i'm not sure if it's actually his wife or an actor usually they're always actors but uh, it might be the real thing at the beginning i thought it looked more natural like it was some home home footage shot uh, on their own camera or something but now i'm thinking no this is more a, re a an act this is more a music video type uh, deal going on it rem reminds me of that our city video i reacted to where i wasn't sure whether it was video that they took themselves at home just just uh, amateurish or whether it was deliberately filmed that way You know the woman likes to ride when
when she wraps the foot around your neck to kill you. That's how if you know she is very thrilled with the experience. Is this a uh, cat and mouse? What game does the lady play? Catch that woman! Well, it's a 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59 automobile. Oh, creepy snake. Is this math class? I didn't want to be taken back to school, I must tell you. I must admit, I think a couple of the jokes, most of the jokes, every one of the jokes went right over my hat i must tell you i must admit to me but uh, i enjoyed it it uh was a uh, bazaar as i said i thought it was uh, an actual live performance video but it seemed to be put together in that package deliberately um because in the description it says this is the music video and I thought no it isn't it's a live performance but then it actually was mostly that uh, pre-recorded uh, stuff like a skit it was like a skit it was uh, fun uh, I'm not sure why the woman ran off at the end maybe she was so excited or maybe she hated that experience so much or maybe it just was too powerful for her in that moment that she needed to recalibrate her senses in her own time. I'm sure he told us what uh, was going on, but uh, that's why I thought the lyric video would have been useful because half the time on my first listen, it's uh, difficult to uh, to capture what everything that is being said but I'm seeing this uh, image of him in the suggested videos and it seems he's actually fairly old at that point I think I'm not sure middle-aged maybe there's certainly images of him younger here um, it was uh, a low-key jolly it was a subject light-hearted, as you say, Brian. And uh, it reminds me of Qu Queen were going to write a song, or one of the members in Queen. I saw that movie, Bohemian Rhapsody, and I think the, he wrote a song about his bike, I think, and they didn't want to record it. Reminds me of what that might have sounded like. Or maybe it did sound like something, I don't remember. I probably haven't heard it if it was ever made, but, 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 sweet and pleasant and uh, nostalgic too. It, 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 as I said at the beginning, very quickly you get a sense of outdoors, like you're on the road. I was thinking those words, on the road, and the car, the, the, the song is about literally being on the road, in part, so... Great job to me, and thank you to me. All praise to the skies. Mm. Do they make music like that today? If they do, I would like to know the way. <clears throat> but until then, my hat is on the heat, and my stew is on the cold. Give me the coal, give me the snow, and I'll make a woman for you. Farewell, my munchens. Take care, my munchens.
Thank you.